another thing that kind of again was kind of grinding my gears over the weekend again just stuff that i don't understand maybe way above my pay grade or my ability to kind of discern and to decipher but this is courtesy of joe it says twitter suspends all accounts linked with politicals for all owner and if you're not mis if you're not aware of them if you know if you know in the uk you won't necessarily probably be aware of this but there's this account on twitter that was really popular over the last what year or so called politics for all i think they had another one called football for all where essentially it was an impartial um news resource where they basically shared headlines clips information about things going on in the news some of which you know were kind of provided kind of behind the scenes insider stuff sources whatever it may be but it was just impartial no spin no whatever just straight impartial kind of quotes and headlines and a lot of people shared it and um, a lot of people were following it and for, for me personally it was a great way to kind of get a snapshot of what was going on in the news without kind of diving deep on you know without having to dive head first into op-eds and whatnot right you could just kind of read the headline get the gist of what's going on and then kind of read the article yourself and go from there but sometimes when you see actual stuff written in certain places certain publications it can sometimes just put you off from even reading in the first place because of where it's been publicized or who's writing it or how they're writing it but sometimes just seeing it on a politics for all kind of feed even if it was coming from those same places it kind of allowed you to kind of strip away any sort of emotion and just deal with what you're kind of seeing and then decide what you want to do later so i didn't really see any problem with it but again some people online I guess might have seen the issue with it they might have probably not liked a certain tweet or maybe I think in the last few months I did see there was a lot more personality being shown in the uh, posts and tweets coming out um, when it came to politics for all it wasn't as kind of black and white and vanilla it was beforehand just providing info it did kind of have a bit of snark a bit of spin so maybe that's why it got some people's tails up because they felt like oh no if they're talking like this they must mean they're on the dark side which is the right side right people necessarily on social media don't necessarily have any time for conservatives it feels like so as soon as people kind of find out that the account owner was a um what you call it was a conservative it was always going to be a rap but it's just annoying that that one thing is what led to twitter deciding to kind of take down the account i'm sure the the guy behind it also has a probably a bit of a checkered past but i don't know if i care if you're willing to provide news in an impartial unbiased way and it's just done because you want to provide an alternative to the dross that we get out there but you have your own checkered history with whatever you've done i really could care less what it is um i just don't think that's fair i really don't especially considering how crappy the news is at the moment right considering how manipulative it is at the moment how gaslighting is at the moment to have a real impartial again somewhat impartial not going to be totally impartial because people's own politics is always going to seep in there but to suspend all of the accounts basically because of the sins of the owner is just grossly unfair and i just think kind of speaks to the entire malaise and dysfunction going on now on social media at the moment right you got instagram not looking anything like instagram i think i've only started using it recently the last six months but instagram now you go in the main feed and it's not in chronological order cool let's say they, they think that's a better way to go about things right i don't necessarily agree i want to have the option to see my feed um populated algorithmically and also the ability for me to follow my actual friends chronologically. I want to see what they're actually getting up to in real time. Not see a post for them six months ago. Do you know what I mean? I want to see in real time. But they don't do either of those things. So the now the algorithm the algorithm sort of induced feed now has you now has them pushing posts from people you don't follow. Accounts you have no idea even existed. Promoted posts of people's fit pics that you don't care about. That's what they do now. So not only is it not giving you control to see what you want to see they're also telling you what you want to see and showing you people you don't even know so again instagram is a complete shell of its own kind of shell of its former self it's basically another data mining resource for facebook right they're just gonna get insights and um you know behavioral kind of yeah behavioral insights on what you do on your computer or what you do on your smartphone but it's not necessarily a platform to share beautiful pictures or to engage in beautiful content it's basically another youtube cool that exists on there twitter is a, it's a complete dumpster fire facebook i never go on anymore so you the the platforms themselves are quite toxic and quite bad but there's some good accounts that pop up from time to time that try and be of service to humanity and then they get taken out as well it's just like god almighty man when will this end so now to have an account on twitter you have to have a perfectly squeaky clean past you can't have any sort of controversy linked to because if you happen to have an account that blows up overnight and someone doesn't like to cut your jib you can get your whole business taken away from you it's just like 
Anyway, it says here, all accounts linked to the brand um, that has been suspended on Twitter. Twitter suspended all accounts relating to online brand politics for all, including News for All, Football for All, and the brand's owner, Nick Moore. The brand, which has been rapid, seen a rapid popularity, and, uh, sorry, increasing popularity over the past year, has seen something, has been something of a talking point on social media, both for its business model and the man behind the empire. Um, as noted by Evolve Politics, the website created by Moore for the company has also gone down. It currently remains unclear what Twitter's reasoning behind the suspension is. And it's, it's always coordinated. These things never happen in a silo. Same thing happened with Alex Jones. You get banned from one platform and they all kind of fall like dominoes. And if, you know, if, if ever there was a monopoly, that would be an example of it. Um, it currently remains unclear. Politics for All, labelled as a strictly impartial platform, came under scrutiny last year after it was revealed that Nick Moore, the creator of the page, is a Conservative Party supporter and a Brexit advocate. Like, I don't know, man. If this means we have to get a impartial news source somewhat from a guy that has those things on him, I don't care. I really don't. Maybe I'm in the minority here. And again, this is someone that's not very overly political. I could care less, but I just don't understand this, man. It really is a concerning kind of um, time in history that we're living now where dissenting voices alternative voices voices that don't necessarily you know agree with the mainstream perspective on things are the ones that are basically at risk of getting because that's the thing you can rise in popularity if you've got an alternative viewpoint but it feels like you're always going to be at the behest and at the will and at the end of the leash of these platforms because if they decide that you don't fit what they're trying to represent in that moment uh, in that era suddenly your whole business goes down and you know all those people that they basically employ sponsorships all this stuff completely goes away just because they decided on the whim no you know what you don't fit what we're doing here as a brand pop it's just uh, as a brand as a platform you're just like god almighty you guys man it doesn't necessarily do the thing that you think it does honestly it just makes those conspiracy nutcases more of nut more nutcase -y, right like if you're an anti-vax person are you ever going to take seriously what somebody like a dr fauci says to you when you think that he might have lied and he hasn't addressed the lie and he hasn't admitted to the lie you just think he, he he's lied said something changed his mind of course a couple of times but made it seem like i didn't like i don't know man 